Hi guys, Ben Wood from Handspring Gymnastics here and I look forward to getting down to CrossFit 3018 in September. So I kick off my actual gymnastics workshop tour on the 13th of September with you guys at, down in uh, at 3018 and I'm really looking forward to uh, meeting you all and helping you with your CrossFit gymnastics. So from four to six, we are doing keeping ring muscle ups and bar muscle ups. Six to eight, we're doing butterfly pull-ups and handstand walking. So what, how it will work is we'll start off with all the muscle ups. We'll do a quick little warm up, get you guys going, get anything we need to do activated. Maybe you'll come in a little bit early, do your rolling and all that sort of stuff so we don't have to fluff around. All right, then it's into just some key body preparation exercise. Just the things to think about that you wouldn't otherwise think about when you're up on the rings or the bar, particularly bar muscle ups. The tighter you are throughout, the bar muscle up, the more efficient you're gonna be. And we get less efficient because we don't realize that we're not tight and we don't know how to be tight and we're just very rigid through that range of motion. So a couple little things there, don't wanna to go too long because I wanna get you up on the bar, all right? Or the rings. So when we start with the ring muscle ups, we are going to do a whole bunch of drills on the low rings. We're gonna work on just making sure you've got sufficient lat strength, just understanding the pressure on the rings when it comes to turning over the ring muscle up. We're gonna work some specific transition drills, tend to help a lot of people that struggle with the whole non-false grip action. Some people have developed the bad habit already early because they've done uh, strict ring muscle ups, which is great, but in the kipping sense, they don't like to turn their wrists. So we're gonna make sure we can turn our wrists, we're in support really well. Just a couple of little things there. And then I've got a really cool, unique drill that I came up with when I built my online course for ring muscle ups. And I haven't even put that out on social media, so that'll be exclusive for workshops only, something that I only do for workshops. And I've done this up in Cairns, down the south coast of New South Wales, and in Bali as well. Uh, back in April. So a really cool drill that's gonna make you feel like you're doing the whole muscle up, but just in the low ring. So you'll literally, the rings will be here. We're gonna have some benches and rolls and you're gonna end up doing this sort of replicating the front swing and really using your hips. So the whole objective of the ring muscle up is not only to help you get the ring muscle up, okay, or potentially master it, but also uh, become more efficient. So even if you can do a ring muscle up, it might be one, a lot of people can do one, but can you do two, three, and four under fatigue? If that's maybe or, or no, then you need to come along and make sure that you are learning to use your hips and you are deploying the kipping pull up drill, which is a really good drill I like to use to teach people how to use their heels at the right time of that front swing. So we're gonna have a bit of pressure on the rings, nice front swing comes up to the horizontal, push the heels down so the hips come out and then roll over. So that's kind of it in a nutshell, but we'll go through some drills and try and make sure we progressively make it all sync and understand, okay? And then we go to the ring, the bar muscle up. Bar muscle up, we're gonna start on some low bars. We're gonna do a bunch of drills, trying to get our timing and coordination, make sure we're tight. We're gonna eliminate and completely get rid of the chicken wing. Okay, we're gonna use a band and do one drill where we try and get our hips to the bar. And then we're gonna come up and do some drills on the high bar. Again, we're gonna deploy the kipping pull up drill because that teaches us um, once we come through to the front, we drop our hips and then the kipping pull up drill comes in handy here where we smash our feet down so the, so the bar comes to our hips or the hips come to the bar and then we transition over. So there's a few stages in there. The only similarity to the ring muscle up of course is that you are using your hips so that kipping pull up drill, hips come out and then you can come over. So they're both similar in that way. What's easier? Um, from a strength point of view, the bar muscle up because it's pure swing. The only thing that sort of makes you a little bit more fatigued is definitely um, the endurance in your shoulders. So it'll be really good to just get in there, have a feel of it all. Sometimes you just need those extra set of eyes like myself just to go, yep, 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 good, good, good. Fix this, fix this, fix this. You bit too early, bit too late. All that kind of feedback that you're probably not getting um, or you are getting, but you just need to it just needs to be said in a different way. And this is one thing that a lot of gyms open up and go, sometimes we just need our athletes to hear it in a different way because I'm a gymnast, I run a business, I do this full time, and I've helped a lot of athletes from all different levels uh, conquer these goals and, and, and come up with new ways and you can see the same faults and it's just uh, leveraging off those same faults to, to give you guys the most efficient product because two hours goes very quick. Then it takes us to the second workshop. The second workshop, as I said, 
butterfly pull-ups and handstand walking. For those that are doing the first one, it'd be good for you guys to continue all the way through. So we'll have a bit of a break with our hands and go straight into handstands. So we're gonna start, we're not just gonna do an hour of handstands, we're going to start with some very basic. So we'll go back to the ground, we're getting out, we'll, we'll do some body preparation, make sure our mobility, making sure that we're strong in that upper back, making sure we've got mid back strength, making sure we're getting stacked before we even get up onto a box or the wall. So then we'll do a couple of exercises on the box, a couple little sequences that I'll show you and I'll give you videos and that's the other thing, a lot of this stuff, I'm gonna give you some, some free takeaways uh, for, through emails, some, some drills and, and lots of professional videos that I do for my online platform and I'm gonna give that to you exclusively. And then we'll go against the wall, we're gonna learn how to enter into handstands, we're gonna do some different things like uh, bunny hops, we're gonna then start doing some understanding what shoulder elevation is all about. We're gonna understand how to transition, how to feel more comfortable when you're taking your hand off. Are you pushing through the ground? Do you feel scared when you're taking your hands off? And if that's you, we're going to show you how, or I'm gonna show you how you can resolve that with making sure that you are doing the right things, okay? Um, and then we're gonna do a play around with a few little sequences to make sure you're building endurance. And then a couple little handstand drills by itself. So. Take the approach guys with handstand walking, it all stems from the handstand. The handstand stems from all the body preparation, all the good technique that you do on the floor and having a good body awareness. So a lot of those things and two hours again, I could do handstands all day. I run handstand classes, two of them every week for my members that I have. I've got a gym where I do a lot of gymnastic strength. And so we practice. This, this, in two hours, I'm gonna unleash everything I know in my head and give that to you and you guys will also, obviously it's a lot to take in. I want you to just feel it and do it on the day and then there'll be some homework. There'll be some takeaways for the email, as I said, go and look at those videos. But handstand is a journey. Don't start with the handstand walking. I know a lot of us do. Um, that's, that's okay because that, that's CrossFit. I do CrossFit as well, I understand. Um, but if we can go back in between and fill some of the gaps, and some of those gaps are gonna be in your, uh, in your body awareness, mobility, and just learning how to get stacked. So a lot of you got endurance because we're all um, good at what we do in, in the gym and we can push through long workouts. But when we're in different ranges of motion, when we're stacked, all these muscles in your upper back and mid back aren't being used in your day-to-day -day lives or your day-to-day -day workouts. So it's really important that you understand how to get in those range of motions, get stacked, head position, shoulders, and then hold that and see what you feel because uh, again, it always shocks people to see how, how weak they are in those areas and then just a bit of time spent in there over a couple of weeks, a couple of months and all of a sudden your handstand feels a lot lighter against the wall. That will also help your handstand push-ups and so many other things. Learn handstands properly guys and then handstand walking in the end product is just so much easier and you'll have a lot more fun versus just getting up and playing around and hopefully it just happens because it won't. Um, as quickly, unless you're uh, a naturally talented athlete. I see a lot of those and they can do it and they're freaks, but not all of us are freaks and um, we need to practice and be shown the order of progressions, okay? Butterfly pull-ups we'll finish with. Um, hopefully we should have some good capacity left in our hands and we're just basically going to start on the floor. I like to do a lot of these coordination drills, just understanding how to use our hips. We're gonna go through different drills. We're gonna get up onto boxes. We're gonna really just break it down, okay? And then we're going to get on the bar. Now the benefit of having, again, myself and, and the numbers um, not being crazily high in the workshop, I don't like big numbers. We can, um, usually between 10 to 15 people, it allows me to get around to everyone and just spot. I'll be like, okay, next, 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 let's get through. And sometimes just having that spot enables you to just feel connective, consecutive reps. And then that sometimes can be enough for you to walk away and go, ah, I get it, I felt it. That's what I gotta do. Um, same with the bar muscle up and the ring muscle up. Uh, for some people it might be linking the muscle ups. Okay, uh, but butterfly pull up, I just, just very good at spotting because that's what I've done uh, for 17 plus years when I've coached kids in gymnastics, to coaching adults, to doing workshops and seminars all around Australia and Asia. So if you haven't already guys, make sure you sign up. Uh, hopefully I've sold it to you. I look forward to going. Check out all the videos that, uh, that have been put up by Tristan on the Facebook group group page. You can check out my Instagram page, handspring underscore gymnastics.
get on the Facebook page, YouTube channel, Handspring Gymnastics. Just check out some of the stuff I've done, get to know me, and you'll more or less be, um, look, everyone is super happy when they leave. You learn a lot. There's only so much you can learn in four hours, but it's better than nothing, and it's a good, really good starting point, and I look forward to meeting you guys. So go and sign up.